So today we're looking at assembling the gantry head assembly, which is basically the bit with the extruder and the hot end and that sort of stuff, with the part that slides along the gantry. As with all the other sections, make sure you follow the bill of materials on the drawing with regards to what parts you need. As a special note for this particular one, there are two types, well, there are several types of M3 screws that you might purchase. So this is a socket cap and this is a button head socket button, whatever you want to call it. They're both the same sort of Allen head top, but this one's a rounded top and this one's a square top. Well, I say square. They're both round really, but the taller ones won't work for attaching the bearings. So when you get a set of screws, try and go for the button head ones because they fit everywhere. So yeah, easier to deal with. Just normal ones are usable, but not in this instance. I'll show you when we get to that part so you can have a closer look. You can probably see that I've already sort of assembled part of this, but really there's not a lot to it. The, this is the plate that I've designed to be clamped between the Titan and the stepper motor. So, I mean, the Titan has to be assembled to the stepper motor with a panel in between. All you have to do is take that panel and make sure it's in between the two when you assemble it. That's all I've done there. It's listed on the drawing with some rough guidelines, but the screws are all provided by E3D as is the hot end and all that sort of stuff. So this assembly that you see here is literally just mainly E3D stuff with the 30 Newton meter stepper motor on the back. Uh, you might want to extend this cable. My one's particularly short and well, being the extruder motor is going to have to be basically the longest to make sure we have plenty of movement around the, uh, around the print area. So we've started by putting these uh, nuts into the plastic frame and then you can go ahead and put the extruder uh, the Titan E3D hot end and stepper motor together and then that assembly is ready to fix to the carriage. So we'll get on with the main carriage part. This bit it's sort of quite simple really. There's loads of little sort of nut capture positions so all you need to do is go around and push nuts into those holes it might take a little while, but it gives you uh, an easy option for adding things. So these holes, for example, screw in from the outside and we can put on something like a fan mount. And that just gives you options for adding various things. So you don't have to disassemble the whole extruder assembly or even the extruder head or anything like that. The hot end can all stay in place as you change things in and out if that's what you want to do. For tightening these once you put them in, don't do that. Oh golly, I've butter fingers this evening. Uh, you can just, well, use the right blimmin. Oh, I put it away. This looks far too big, but it isn't. So for tightening these in, just Hold the nut in place and pull it in with a screw. Oops, it is. We could just tap the screw straight into the plastic, but these parts are sort of because they're intended to have ooh, sort of reusability. We want to be able to take the fans off and put a BL touch or any, any inductive capacitive sensor or whatever you like on the sides instead. If you want to be able to test things and then take it off and put something else on and all oh, that's not working, we'll switch it. You don't want those threads wearing out on the plastic. So by using nuts, we, uh, we save ourselves a lot of headaches in the future. The next step is to put nuts into these three holes here and this will hold this down on the back. So we'll do that now. Just like that. Again you can put some screws in there if you want to. Oh, 
Well, there you go, there's the nuts in the sides. For me, this one is a little bit loose, so it slips out. So I'm just gonna leave that until the end, and then I'll put it in as I assemble the back on. The, all the slots are the same size, so if your printer's accurate enough, they should all just be sort of just in. So the next place, again, nuts around here. You won't need all of these. For me, I'm using these Agus mounts that I have. So I'm using the outer two on each side. And the assemble is just the same. Press a nut into the back and then pull it through with a screw. You may have to uh, clear out these holes because it's printed face down. There is an overhang on these holes on the inside. So if your printer's good, you should be fine. If it's not so good, or maybe it might be the slicer that will determine that, but you might have to clear some material out this hole before you put stuff in it. It shouldn't be too much, just a little bit. Just took me two minutes with a set of tweezers, just pull any excess plastic out. Should still be plenty strong enough to do what we need it to do. Once that's pulled the nut in, you can remove the screw. And it leaves that night nut nice and deep in the hole. So now we should have all our nuts assembled in that frame. These screws will need to be withdrawn slightly to allow the extruder motor to go in. So we'll just do that. The extruder motor goes up against each side, so just make sure that there's no screws sticking out into the middle of the uh, into the middle of this piece. One thing I should mention about this piece: there is uh, nut traps in the back here. So on this particular revision that I've got here. They're at an angle and it makes them a bit more difficult to put in. But for your one, they should be top down and you can just push them in and towards one side. If you want to pull them into the corners, as always, use a screw and just pull it through, tighten it slightly and then remove the screw. And those nuts that will then be in place for assembling onto the extruder frame, extruder carriage rather. Uh, this piece is symmetrical as is this. For me, it's not because it's an earlier revision, but for you it will be, so you don't need to worry about getting it the right way up or anything. Every, every way up is the right way up. So next we are going to put this on here, I think. So you'll probably see here, if I try and put a nut in, you know, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work that well. But for yours, it will be a bit better. It's probably easiest to put them on here before you put the extruder in. If you want to align this, to get to help, you can put a screw in there, push it against it, and you, as you tighten it, and that'll just help it grab that nut to pull it across. So, hopefully, you can see how those nuts are sitting in there, and that's what you want to achieve both ends. That's how the whole thing is held together. So, best to get it right, eh? Oh dear. As you can see, it's now going to be a pain in for me to do these because I've got wires and stuff all over the place. So definitely do this before you put your extruder and everything together. <laughs> 